This is to eat. They're century old eggs. Yeah, no, that's so. how I like them. <laughs> They're good. Ladies first. <laughs> I got a man up. The whole thing. Yeah, see? YOLO. <laughs> Those are 100 year old eggs. Okay, that part was kind of gross, but I love this show. That was a bad day. <laughs> Phil Rosenthal, he knows how to make anything he does funny. You know what? He created and produced a, a little show called Everybody Loves Raymond. You remember that? Yeah, sitcom. Now he has this new food and travel show. I'll have what Phil's having, and Phil is here. I want to be you. I want to be you. You can. That's the point of the show. Oh. The point is, I'll have what Phil's having. You can easily have what I'm having. All you have to do is save up a little money and travel. And if you can't afford it right now, you can travel in your own town. So, There's stuff right yeah, here you in did LA, a great right? LA episode. How, how do you pick the restaurants? Because you went to like Homeboy Industries, yeah. you went to a food truck, yeah. you went to uh, the farmer's market. So the info that's available to me is available to you. There's this nice little thing called the phone that has mm -hmm. everything on it, right? Or the computer. And we can now, it's very easy for anyone to have access to what's out there. Right? And so this is what I do. I was doing it anyway. I was going, you know, people ask me, is there going to be a season two? I said, there's going to be a season two whether they film me or not. Oh. I'm going and I'm eating. Right. And you'll have a camera there with you. Or not. I'm trying to figure out what is so good about this show. Because, it, come on, there are lots of travel Can't shows. So lots of, it's you. Oh, it is. Sweet. I think it's your Thank eyes. You. I think that oh, you, well. like, I don't know. I just, we just go along and your eyes are so expressive. You cried when you ate gelato in Italy. You don't have to tell everybody. He cried over it Italian was ice cream. Well, it was very special. It was just milk, eggs, and sugar, right? But it was the right milk, the right eggs, the right sugar, right, from this beautiful place in Italy, in Florence, Italy, made by a lady who's been doing it her whole life in a 60-year-old machine that stirs it very slowly. And I had it fresh out of the thing. <sighs> and I had it, and... I don't know what I did. I had to give her a little kiss, and when she <laughs> she hugged me back, that's when I got a little emotional. Okay, the whole experience. But that's why Italy wins for me. Me too. Because not only is the food best, like you just love everything you're eating, everywhere you look is spectacular, and then the people are hugging and kissing you. So what's not to like? It's so sweet. Let's take a look at. I'll have what Phil's having. I've never seen so many ingredients in one bowl. It takes two guys to do it. Okay. Mine is more red. I'm gonna die. I got beer for you. I'm excited because it's scary <laughs> and beautiful. Like my wedding night. Extra. <laughs> Call my wife and tell her I loved her. Whoa. Maybe you need more beer? Sometimes you eat really simple foods like croissants yes. in, in, in sure. Paris. But in the, it was at the Hong Kong episode, you ate yeah. ants, you ate eels, and, and you ate that 100 year old egg. The 100 year old egg is not really 100 years old, it just tastes that way. And it's black. It, yeah, the, the, it was the, the, the yolk is like a, a, like a greenish black, and the, the, the white is a, like a translucent dark orange. The first thing you taste is really, really rotten egg. And then it's that's supplanted by an overwhelming wave of ammonia. Oh, it was one. Of, it was really. The, I think the bravest thing I've ever done is swallow that. Right? That was awful. And there, there you saw me eat the spiciest ramen I ever had. But I have to say, it was the best ramen of everything I had in Tokyo. That's the dish that's calling me back. I'm I so like excited. Spicy. Six more episodes, like... please. I okay, do. I love. You want. I love spicy. Come on. Love it. Let's go. All right. For more information about I'll Have What Phil's Having, you can see it on Netflix. It started on uh, PBS, right? That's right. Just go to kcal9.com.